Okay, so I'm going to be holding this microphone right now because I realized that the audio quality of my videos aren't, isn't exactly the best. What up everyone, it's here on The Producer. Hope your day is going well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a few of my thoughts about some of my favorite applications. Yeah, And to be exact, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on desktop applications that you can use on the iPad. Yes. So recently I picked up a Mac mini to be able to do some other tests here yeah? and I decided to make a compilation. Now these applications aren't necessarily M1 compatible. In fact, the way it's set up or some of these applications that you actually have to get, you have to have the app bought separately on both of the stores, but I still wanted to use this video as a way to showcase a ton of great developers who've actually made desktop class applications available on the iPad. And I wanted to highlight this app in case, in case you ever run into a scenario where someone is like, ah, oh, there's not many apps on the iPad. You can give them a few of the applications on this list of developers here. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to work, whoosh. So the first application on my list will be FabFilter. Yes, the Fab Filter Suite is available on the iPad. And I'm talking about the Pro Q3, the Deessa, the Compressor. In fact, as a female does this video, they actually brought out Volcano. So in other words, we're looking at like one of the top tier companies. They're making that effect available to use on the iPad. Now you may be asking, wait, how do you use these effects? Well, iOS has a ton of DAWs that's available. You've got GarageBand, you've got Cubasis, you've got Zenbeats, you've got Nano Studio 2, you've got Aurea, you've got Beatmaker 3, you've got a few others I haven't even covered them or looked into, like Multitrack Doll or Ntrack Studio, you've got Arm, um, you've got Drambo. In other words, there's a lot of great developers who've been able to make stuff available. I'm gonna look into GarageBand for example. Because that's the best way I can explain it. GarageBand is a free application available on iOS and iPad. Whatever track you're using, whether it's an audio track or an instrument track, what you want to do is you want to go directly into plugins and EQ. You're going to tap on edit, you tap on the plus icon, you go to audio unit extension, and you can select from a wide range of effects. An example of one I like to use would be Black Hole Reaver by Eventide. And that's how you can use plugins on applications like GarageBand. So FabFilter's plugins are legendary. They're one of the staple effects you're going to find that a lot of music producers, whether on the desktop or even on iOS, will tell you as a must-have. A lot of their plugins are visually based, which means you can actually see the frequencies and you can see the effects of the changes that you're doing on an audio signal or on an instrument signal. My personal favorite will be the FabFilter Pro Q3, but the entire bundle is fantastic. An application I can recommend will be the LRC5 by Neon Silicon. It's an excellent, it's an excellent graphical EQ. It doesn't give you the visual portion of it, but it's a good starting point until you decide to go for something more flexible. I know, yeah, GarageBand does come with a visual EQ if you do want to see it. All right, the next developer I'll be looking into will be Sugarbytes. Sugarbytes is another fantastic company. They make effects applications and they also make synthesizer applications. The one I'm gonna give a special shout out to will be Effectrix because Effectrix is an amazing application that allows you to add multiple effects and it works in a grid sequencer format. So instead of you just adding it to the overall track, you can select specific spots that you want particular effects to hit. It, it works based on a sequence, so you, you gotta be a little bit creative with it, but it is one amazing application that I'd say, if you're looking for some sort of way to make dynamic changes in your music, this is the application I would highly recommend. But that's not the only Sugarbytes app that's out there. In fact, Sugarbytes released a ton of the applications, the Egoist application, Unique, Factory, Apparillo, even Drum Computer that was one of their most recent applications was also released on the iPad. And according to my mentor, it is wickedly awesome. So it's an application to take a look into if you're looking for experimental, yeah, if you're looking for a ton of experimental breaks. 
Now, an application I can say, if, you, if you're not really sure how you're going to use it, take a look into the free filter step application. It does something similar to it, where you can actually add subtle changes, even GitLab, I believe. So GitLab and filter step by audio modern it does some stuff similar it's again these apps aren't the same but it's just to give you something to have a look at in terms of a comparison all right let's move on along the way we're going to look into the next application yeah i'd recommend eventide now eventide makes a ton of amazing yeah they make a ton of amazing effects Every time it makes a lot of amazing effects. And my personal favorite would be the Black Hole Reverb. The Black Hole Reverb is a reverb I use on a lot of my production styles. Just because of that wide, otherworldly space that you can't really replicate on a lot of simple reverb. I mean, granted, you, you sort of can, but I just really love the interface and the and the controls that I get with this reverb. That it's it's found a way to be one of my staple reverb plugins. But Eventide also makes a ton of excellent plugins. They've got the rotary, they've got the crystals, they've got micro pitch. These are more specialized plugins. For my use case, I do have them and I've played around with them a little bit. I always, but I always, and I mean always go back to Black Hole Reverb. Again, don't forget this application is available both on PC, Mac, as well as on iOS. So if I was to add this directly here, yeah, Black Hole Reverb, and I tap on it, yep. I'm able to adjust each of it. it. Comes with quite a few presets as well. That I'm able to use to dramatically change the sound. If you're looking for for a reverb, I used before choosing Black Hole Reverb as my main wide one was the Zero Reverb by Blamsoft. Blamsoft is another amazing company that's available on PC as well. So while taking a look into their effect, I. I still use the Zero Reverb and Zero Chorus as well. So that's an excellent effect you can take a look into. Next one on the list, Simaster One by KV Tree Tree I. I think that's their name. They do have a lot of other applications available on the iOS App Store, like Simaster 2, Simaster Player, and Simaster for iPhone. I personally like Simaster One, not just not just because it was the first synth that I used that came with a ton of that I personally like Sim Master One because of the wealth of customization it comes with. It allows you to load wave tables, even serum wave tables, I believe. It's compatible for both your iPhone and your iPad. And if you have presets on the PC, you can actually import them directly into your iPad or iPhone, which gives you a wealth of customization. So the work you're doing on your computers can also be done on the go. And I mean, it comes with a ton of presets and you can download even more online. You can download presets and import them directly into there. I say Sim as the one, it's an insane beast of an application. And they recently ported in Sim Master 2 to the iPad as well. I just rec I recently got it. I haven't looked into it in depth, but from what I can say, the application is insane. I feel Sim Master 1 is the equivalent of Serum on Mac, just because of the wealth of customization and the features it comes with, and the fact that it is an ever-evolving synth. You can customize it to your art content, and it has this feeling of that there's a lot of time invested in it, and the synergy between the PC world and the iOS world is insane. So I can't recommend this application enough. If you if you're skeptical about this application. Sim Master 1 for iPhone is free, as well as Sim Master Player. Great apps to take a look into. And it's one I personally would recommend. If you ask me what one, one my top 5 or 10 cents on iOS would be, you find Sim Master on my top 3. That's how much I really do like this application. And we're moving on from Sim Master 1 into the other end of synthesis and sound that I really do like, which is actual sampled acoustic instruments. Pure Sim Platinum, that's going to be my next one on the list. It's also available on Mac and PC. The great part about Pure Sim Platinum is the fact that it's preloaded with a lot of acoustic samples and it still gives you a bit of customization. We'll take a quick look at Pure Sim Platinum. Yeah. It's a rompler, which means a lot of sounds, instead of working through the regular method of loading in wavetables or adjusting an oscillator, 
it it takes a ton of great high quality it takes a lot of great high quality sampled sounds and it makes it easily accessible so you you're getting this from a ton of legacy gear modern instruments and it's categorized in a way that is easy for you to find what you're looking for. Whether it's keys, it's bass guitars, it's acoustic guitars, it's strings, it's pads, it's winds, percussions. And these, these are insane quality instruments that even every time I keep looking through it, if I'm looking for a sound, I usually check this place out. If I want something to sound like a particular instrument, I check Pure Sin Platinum. Another part about Pure Sim Platinum that I really do like is the fact you can actually stack sounds in layers. You can make combination of sounds. Of course, I'm, I'm going to give a free recommendation for an app that I previously did a video, which is World Piano and also Piano Book as well. These are great applications as well that allows you to load some acoustic sound. I find it's a bit more involved in the process of getting sounds that you like, as opposed to Pure Sim that gives you the options you need. But they're all excellent options to take a look into. Moving on, the next application I'm going to mention is the Moog. And Moog is an insane company. I recently did a video where I showed Henny the business's preset on the Moog Mini Moog synthesizer over there. One of the characteristics of Moog is that aggressive filter. You can tell it's a Moog sound just from the way that synthesizer sound. Whether it's the application like the Mini Moog or the Model 15 or the Annie Moog, you will know it is distinctly Moog just by hearing those gnarly fat basses. And it's an excellent application. I don't really have a particular favorite. I've, I found my I started out with Annie Moog for iPhone. Lately, I've been using a lot more of the Mini Moog. Or was it a Mini Moog? Hmm. And I get the feeling that with the way everything is going, I'm definitely going to transition to the Model 15. These applications, they've gone through a lot of deviations and variations on different platforms. Atari has made their own version of this, but this is the application made by the company who made the original device. So, honestly, it is that good. But if we're looking for a free application that can that you can use to get started, check out the Viking Sin by Blamsoft. It's a great. It's why I started with before I actually got this Moog application. Again, all this application I'm recommending, they are alternatives. They're not to replace it. I actually have all these applications I'm mentioning on this list as well because there's some sounds that I that I like on this one, or I like the interface on another. And with that out of the way, let's go into IK Multimedia and Mixbus. Mixbus is Mixbus is a gift for us iOS users because it contains a massive amount of effects that are easily accessible and a wealth of presets from different artists that can be easily customized. In a way, it overcomes the limitation of GarageBand because you're able to add more effects using Mixbus. And these are high quality effects that would run you thousands if you were to actually get the hardware version of this. It's an insane application that I'm honestly thankful that exists now. For Mixbus, you can use it for bass, melody, vocals, drums, or whatever sounds you're trying to experiment with. It's, a, it's an experimental bus that allows you to stack a ton of effects, compressor, reverbs, delay, Compression, reverbs, delay, distortion, and even and way more that I can possibly mention right now. And it gives you different filters, different algorithms on it that you can experiment with to find the sound that you're looking for. It's a playground for exploration. That, and also for people looking for quick ways to be able to make polished sounds, the effects there are designed so that you can easily accept presets that are similar to the sound you want and you just adjust them a little. That's my common use case of it, but... Now, there isn't any substitute for Mixbus I found. But another application I can say, if you want a feeling of having multiple effects at once, will be Tonebridge. Tonebridge is another excellent application that I use if I'm trying to get specific sounds or specific artists. Guitar sounds, piano sounds, I use Tonebridge to be able to quickly get a template and then I work around it with the effects I have. Moving on, 
Number the next I'm going to mention will be a wider plugin. Yes, it's the wider by infected mushroom plugin. This is a free plugin available on all platforms. And for the simplicity of a design, what the wider plugin does is it helps expand a sound. Instead of it sitting right in front of you, you can make it wider, hence the name wider. It's a free stereo wider. It's great at separating sounds. You can use this for separating background vocals. You can use this for separating guitars. You can use this for making sure some sounds don't stay in the mix. All right, the next one on my list, I would have mentioned Cog Gadget, but it's not an AUV tree plugin. I use Cog Gadget a lot. So what I will do is I'll mention Cog Module. Cog Module has a ton of the sounds that you can get on Cog Gadget. The great part about module that makes me always recommend it is, is it gives you a lot of the iconic sounds from Cog. You can even unlock a few of them. My personal favorite unlock will be the Triton unlock directly on iOS, but you can get the Cog gadget bundle directly on the PC and on the Mac store. And this gives you access to all, it gives you access to a plugin array of a ton of Cog's iconic sounds right there. If you're looking for a similar interface that's available on the PC, definitely check out Gadget too, because it's an amazing application. I'm almost done, yeah? But the next step I'm going to mention will be Clef Grand's... Clef Grand makes a ton of great effects and synthesizers. The one app I do use a lot of times from Clef Grand would be Bruce Free. It's a noise reduction plugin that's used to reduce a lot of the background noise. It is very easy to use. You just tap on one button, it samples the audio around you, and it silences the background audio. Useful as an effect to silence a lot of dirt or background noise on the microphone. The next one I'm gonna say is Nambrini, and shout out to Nambrini because they changed the game of guitars on iOS by making simple single effects that do one sound really well and given an array of free effects to use like Nembrini's Crunk, which I do use quite a bit. If I turned a French on into a guitar just by using that plugin in this video over here. There's a few other companies I haven't mentioned in detail. Like the developer of the FSC plugin also made the application available on Mac. Audio Damage made theirs available as well. Like the EOS Reverb is awesome. Rough Rider is an interesting plugin. And there's also bound to be other developers which I haven't really seen or experimented with. So leave a list of your favorite sounds or your favorite developers or your favorite plugins. And yeah, hope this video was helpful. Take it easy. And I'm out. Whoosh.